I'm going to show you the full submission process through the platform. You need to enter through contrataciondelestado.es. It will take you to this home page. Now click on the Empresas symbol. You will have to register, which I've already done, to make the demonstration faster. Enter your username and password here to access the platform with the profile you've created. You'll see the options Licitaciones, Mis Licitaciones and others. Click on Licitaciones to find the bid you want to submit. You can make a search, in this case for a completed bid. Number 220048. Click on Buscar. The platform shows the results found and the file we searched for. You will then see the basic information of the case. The supply, the price, the CPV code. Implementation area, procedures, etc. In order to submit a request, click on this option here. First, you need to save your work. This one has already been saved under Licitaciones. So, save first via the option Guardar en mis licitaciones. You can delete the bid, like I'm about to do. That way you can see all the steps. I'll save it again here in Añadir esta licitación. Click on Aceptar and it will be saved under your bids. Then go to the Mis Licitaciones option. And you should see it there. It's the first one here. You can then access the bid. We see here the documentation needed to submit the bid. These are the initiation certificate, the justifying report, the approval, the notification of the bid and the characteristics required. You need to include all the relevant annexes. Then download the bid notification and datasheet. And prepare all the documentation that you need. It's advisable to create a file for this documentation for easy access. You can then upload it as the platform requires. Click on this option for access, which will open a Java window. It's important to submit the bid using Internet Explorer, as it's the only browser that runs Java. Chrome and others won't work. So to submit bids, be sure to use Microsoft Explorer. Once Java opens, it will say you have selected the bid. Number 220048 in this case, and create a new bid. Click on Acceptar and as we've already done this, a message will remind you that you have completed it. No worries, we'll start from the beginning. You will see five sections. Bidding details, which shows basic information. The details of the bidder, which you have to fill in. Stating if you're a company or a joint venture. In this case, we created a profile as an individual. As well as stating the type of company, you need to add a proxy. The platform requires it, but it can be the same person. You can enter the same name, and tax ID number. Then click on Añadir. You then select the type of proxy and add it to the table. And save. It's all correctly inserted. Then go to the next section for authorizations. These are the authorizations the platform requires to check with different public bodies. To confirm the bidder's details, check everything with C and save. This is sent to the tax office, social security, etc. Click on Guardar to save your changes. The fourth section shows the areas in which we want to bid. 
There is no limit to the areas here, so we can bid in all five. If not, you can uncheck those you're not interested in. I've selected all of them to submit bids for all five. Save by clicking on Guardar. Finally, go to the Sobres screen. This bid has two folders, one for administrative documentation and the other for mathematical or automatic evaluation criteria. The first folder for administrative documentation is here. Here the platform asks for the statement regarding the ability to act and financial and technical liquidity. In each of these sections, attach the corresponding documentation, certifying the information in question. You can attach the documentation here. This is why it's important to have it ready in a separate folder to allow easy uploading. Attach the file. And do the same for the remaining areas. In compliance with requirements, once you have uploaded everything, this status in red will turn green, which means it's been correctly completed. You then repeat this step for the accessible bid criteria. In this case, it requires a financial bid, in which case you should use the form downloaded from the datasheet, as well as the warranty extension statement model which in this case is required for the bid. You also need to attach the annexes, completely filled in and signed. When you have completed everything, and this symbol appears as green, click on Validar. If I click now, it says that there are things missing, and it shows what's still pending, the folders. Obviously, I'm not submitting a real bid. I can't attach the annexes, but I can add the documentation. But if you upload the documents correctly, it should all show up in green, like the first options here. Once it's all in green, click on Preparar Envio. After clicking on Validar, check everything is OK. And click on Preparar Envio. By doing that, you can then select the two folders with the attached documentation. Sometimes it will ask you to sign, and others it won't. You can then send it by selecting Enviar. It won't allow this now as it's incomplete. Then click here to submit it. You also need to send the third-party authorizations. And that's all there is to it. Once you have sent the folders and the authorizations, you can send all the documentation and everything will be submitted. All that is left is to close the app.